Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying our um, seed sowing guide as much as I am. Today's video, we're going to talk about the uh, mysterious stratification. Like if you're a regular person, you've probably never heard that word. What does this mean? It sounds weird. So all temperate carnivorous plants, in order to germinate those seeds, they have a special lock on them. And the key to that lock is called stratification. Stratification is a period of cold and wet on the seeds that will allow them to germinate. So always with plants, we're trying to recreate the natural cycle of something. Saracenia seeds, these are American pitcher plant seeds, specifically Saracenia leucophylla, or the white trumpet plant. And these little guys in a few years will be big pitcher plants, believe it or not, if we do everything right. So a big part of that everything right is the stratification process. Now, when I was a little boy, I thought stratification was just putting them in the fridge. So that's seed storage. A good place to sto store your seeds is actually in the refrigerator. And we store those dry, very, very dry, so that they um, are safe and they won't germinate in there. Now, stratification is kind of the opposite of that. It needs to be wet and in the fridge. So when I was a kid, I thought I was stratifying them just by keeping the seeds dry in the fridge, but that's, that's not true. I think a lot of people think that. That's just storing seeds. So stratification is getting them wet and then cold. So these seeds have been dry, stored in the fridge, um, but today is their big day. Oh my God, we're going to be planted. <laughs> See, they're trembling at this time. Anyways, and a piece of paper is a really good tool too for all seed work. You'll see me using um, paper a lot in here. Um, a little folded piece of paper like this is great for harvesting seeds and working with them. And I am gonna talk about two different ways to stratify. Um, so one way to do that is naturally with the cold that we already have outside. And what I mean by cold is below 40 degrees. That's what plant cold looks like. So if it's like 50 degrees outside, that's not counting as stratification. If you're in LA and you're like, gosh, this is so cold out here. No, it's only 50 degrees. That's not counting as stratification. You're gonna have to put them in the fridge. But here, we get down pretty reliably to 25 degrees um, every single night in the winter, maybe 32, so that's plenty of cold. Um, so we can use our natural cold. Oh, and too cold, I don't have a lot of experience with that because again, Californian, but I would try to keep them above sub-zero freezing. I think um, even in the wild, the seeds would often encounter like the high teen, low teens, and maybe even single digits. Um, but sub-zero freezing, I would avoid that. Because at that point, you might actually be, you know, freezing the seeds and killing them. So I don't know. Um, but anything short of that, somewhere in the, like the 15 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit realm for about six weeks is what we're shooting for. So this today is my stratification chamber. Yesterday, it was a Tupperware bin from Target. And today, it is a stratification chamber. So... We'll talk more specifically about sowing the seeds, but you never bury any carnivorous plant seeds. You just sprinkle them right on top. So we're this method is stratifying directly in the pot itself that it's gonna grow in. So I'm just gonna tap this piece of paper to make all those seeds march down. And if you've done this for a long time, you can do this pretty quickly. But you see, I'm just kind of deciding where to put them. Get it nice and even. If you clump the seeds too much together, then they'll compete for resources. It's better to kind of have them evenly spread out. I feel like that's a pretty good coverage right there. And then eventually I would fill all of those seeds up. Put the lid on so that it's completely safe. We're keeping it safe from the rain. We're also keeping it safe from mice. One horrible year, I did all my sow seeding. I put them outside underneath the bench to be cold. And I came back in the springtime expecting to have them all getting ready to germinate. And instead a mouse had come in and eaten almost every single seed off the top. Because there's a lot of fat in the seed actually. And then the few seeds they left, they'd scattered all over the place and pretty much ruined that whole year. So control, 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 protection, protection, protection. These are babies. So we're gonna put them in here. And now I'm gonna just take these out front and we'll go find a nice cold place to put them out front. I'll show you right now. 
Okay, so we're outside, out front of the greenhouse, outside of the green, yeah, in the greenhouse we keep it warm so it never gets cold. So out here we need the cold. And underneath all these dormant sundews, I'm gonna stash this bin right under there. It's good, once it gets to its home, to put some water in. I didn't water it before I moved it because you don't want that all sloshing around. So once the water goes in, you wanna have it be where it's gonna be. And we're just gonna put about two inches of water into the bottom of this Tupperware bin. It's gonna be its tray itself, which is really nice. Always use distilled water or rainwater. And for seeds like this, if you've gone through all the trouble of sterilizing the soil, make sure you use bottled water or RO water so you're not just putting a bunch of um, spores or algae or whatever in your water. The water's gotta be clean too. Remember, use those persnickety skills. So now we're just gonna gently tuck it in the dark down here. We could even cover it further with a piece of black plastic to make sure that there's no light in there. But I think it's pretty dark down here. The sun's not gonna hit it directly. Don't let the sun hit it. You know, if the sun hits it even for a couple of hours, it'll get real warm in there and it'll start those seeds to sprout. If they sprout down here, it'll be too dark and they'll probably just die. So you don't want any sprouting. You want it to be dark and cold. And as long as it has both those things, nothing will start to sprout until, you know, maybe like March or April when it warms up. All right, well, we'll do another video to come check on these once they're all sprouting. I'm really excited to see what they turn into. Okay, so I'm back in the, back in the greenhouse again. Um, the other way to stratify seeds is not putting them in the pot, but actually just stratifying them um, uh, in a little bag. So we're gonna show you how that works next. Um, and I should say that, you know, I just put those other seeds out front, but I could have taken those and put them in the fridge if I had the space for it too. Like if you don't have outdoor space to do the natural cold, you can always just take those pots that you've sown your seeds on top of and put them right in the fridge. Um, and if you don't have a big bunch of them to do, you don't need a big Tupperware thing or a thing like this. It could literally just go into a Ziploc bag and put it in the back of the fridge. So speaking of bags, this is another way. We don't do it this way too terribly often. So I got this method from John Brittnacher on the ICPS webpage, the International Carnivorous Plant Society webpage. And they're a great, great resource for further information and also seeds. If you go looking for seeds on eBay, you're probably buying sunflower seeds. Make sure you buy them from a reputable place like us. The ICPS is also a really, they have a great seed bank and they're always what they say they are. One more thing. It's really good to sterilize this chopped up New Zealand sphagnum moss. Because if you call the company who sells it, they'll tell you this never happens. But there are a lot of weed seeds already in this sphagnum that come from the bogs that they grow in. If you ever used it on your Nepenthes, you've always noticed a flush of like grasses that come up. That's in this already. So go ahead and use the microwave method to sterilize this before you use it. That way you won't end up with a whole bunch of tall grasses when your sericinia starts to sprout. So it's the same process. We still want that same six weeks of cold, but we're just gonna do it a little bit differently. Instead of sowing them right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these seeds. Again, these are American pitcher plant seeds. And I'm just gonna throw them directly in the Ziploc bag, just like that. And then I have some chopped up sphagnum moss here. Uh, the chopped up part, <laughs> you might have to um, get some sphagnum and a kitchen knife and just chop it up really finely to make it into this. See how it's very, just tiny, tiny little pieces. You could use full sphagnum without chopping it up and we've done that before. But then when you mix that in with the seeds, they're all gonna be stuck onto that sphagnum strand and it's really hard to sow them later. So this having it be all chopped up and broken apart, we're just gonna sow this all as part of the seeds basically. And so that's actually because it's all broken apart really easy. And you don't want it to be sopping, sopping wet. Like you can see there's a lot of water in this. I'm gonna squeeze most of that out. So it's just, wet, but not like sopping wet. So a couple drops left in it, but that's about it. And that's it. And then we're just gonna take that and we're gonna mix it in with our seeds. You want all the seeds to be touching a little bit of the sphagnum. Make sure it's really damp. 
There we go. It's pretty good. Just in a Ziploc sandwich bag, and then we're gonna zip it on up. Zip. Okay, shake our hands off like a dog. And then we're gonna head on over here to the fridge. So, if you're not using the natural cold, you can always just use the fridge. Again, tell all your loved ones what you've done. You don't want somebody thinking that these are old graham cracker cookies or something and throwing them away with, and you'll be heartbroken. Tell all your loved ones, even though you're embarrassed, what you've done. Put this in the cheese drawer down there. The microwave is all full of seeds and some cat food. But. So just gonna put that right there and we're gonna leave it for six weeks. In a later video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about actually sowing those seeds, but that's it. Now, if you don't do stratification, they won't sprout. You'll, you'll sit there and you'll watch, and you'll check them a month will go by, two months will go by, and they won't sprout. And it does take, after we get done with stratification, it'll take about six weeks usually for them to germinate. So it takes some time, but you're gonna be waiting a long time without this process. Sometimes, you know, don't give up on them. So if you've already done that and you skip stratification, leave them because after a year or so, you will get some sprouting without, without that process but this is the way that actually makes them sprout all together in the spring.